The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Ouch. We're under it. It's easy these days. Curse to put my hands on everything. <clears throat> I wonder if just one needs to go to the portal and it's, it's over. Okay, we, we, uh, we got here. Whatever here is. Let's wait the location to load first. That's... What is that actually? That orb's about to explode! I speak from some experience! Martial artists are pretty badass. But I wonder what's what's the meaning of this. Before you do anything, I am your ally. Okay. We are in danger. Oh shit. A mind flayer. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's 
been protecting I called it. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You killed the Asuma Night Soul. You didn't have to. You let me live last time you were here. Though it brought Black Hith's wrath upon you. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. Let's check this out. Okay, enough, enough. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the Mind Flayer's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. <laughs> Oops. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. <laughs> Together, we can turn the tide. Better late than never. Okay, now we have a uh, helping mind flayers. Or just one mind player. Thank you. That was the too Emperor. Close. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer, I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. 
I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Okay. That bulls. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. Interesting. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Githyanki in the sphere, who Prince was it? Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. Ah. A power she passed on to him and that I leveraged for. When Orpheus's mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blackith wanted I wonder his what power, but Orpheus rose against her, said about this. and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant politics. to politics. Politics, politics. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blackith will be finished. No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. 
All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. As an illithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this. Okay. Change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. While continuing to preserve your independence. This doesn't sound really good. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same not, strength, not liking the this same one bit. intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? No. No, no way. <laughs> Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with illithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Let's see what is it, it has to offer. Okay, that, that didn't work so well. Okay, maybe this is so important role that I need to use inspiration. The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved. Of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you. Just as the Emperor said. Heart Western bro. Let's see. Yes! A wave of disappointment, stronger than any you've ever felt. And then... stillness. You've resisted your lithid instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. <clears throat> Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. 
You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Wish I had a bag of holding. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. She was... Um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Um, thank you so much. I don't have anything, and you can't do anything without any coin. I'll pay you back when I find my mum. Really there now. Building a child. I'm not asking for more. Just see if that's to get me full. Should have killed the little monsters. Provoked. Circus poster. Binti. Something's on my mind. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hells is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. Circus of the, the Last Days. Extra okay. The circus there is. Fun. Explore. <laughs> Explore. <gasps> Blunder. Circus! Can we go? I can't lie. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all, blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Yes. Benji? Benji. <laughs> Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No lie. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. If I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Dribbles the Clown. Okay. Circus of last days. <laughs> okay. Sarate mummy. You realize she is mining putting on face paints. She has them to sell. So it's a disguise kit. Could we could disguise us as some somebody something? Approach, ugly one. Ugly one. Yes. 
Behold! Akabi's Wheel of Wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination! And make your miserable life more bearable! Then Akabi pities you! Begone, miserable one! Book of Cheese Amanzi. Okay. Not now. I must provide musical support for Miss Silvertongue. Viola Silvertongue at your service, or I will be once my set is done. We have a customer! <clears throat> Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place! Uh -huh. Those are bespoke, stony and bony creations! Or commission a statue in your likeness! It is our most sought-after service! Bony! At your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. Is she not magnificent? <laughs> well, I wouldn't use that word, but yes. To think she chose me. Why I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Uh, uh, now, what can I do for you? My wife shall be delighted. Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. I want to stay so for me, Nagy. Tremendous! Because dark Stony, hell. darling, let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue shipped to your camp. You shall love it. We guarantee it. <laughs> Inspired. Oh, of course. I, su I suppose uh, Gail is probably inspired as well. Popper. Oh, oh. Hungry little hobgoblin. Th Want a treato? The goblin. Cobalt, I have rather. Lots of treatos. And magics. And junks I finds. Uh, don't worry. I only takes junks from dead people. I is nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day. And I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes! I has lots of stuff just for you. Yeah, he's he's a cobalt. Okay, arrows. Missed for position with the target. Interesting. One at this decent level four spell slot until long rest. Okay, that's that's totally fine. <laughs> bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. I suppose we should sell our stuff away when I have a time. 
Okay, what's in here? Lucy, Len, Jacob. Ah! Lucille! It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Ah! And Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. Mm. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Interrupting a massacre? Merkel, help me! These three make the art of dance look like a ritual sacrifice. Call me Lucretius. Bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Get it right this time, or I'll resurrect someone who can! Oh, this is interesting. Jos haluaa FTF-modia pelata, niin varmaan ehkä kannattaa noitten arma, armaklaanien suuntaan katella. Hyvä tietää. No joo, siis se on joka pieni, pieni kaveriporukka ja se pysyy hyvänä sen takia, että me ei värvätä muita, muita siihen mukaan. Okei, okay, let's see. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! Gods, I hate clowns. <laughs> Not even sure clowns like clowns. Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? I know I'm amazing. Way! Thank you to the loud mouth for volunteering for my next trick. Oh no. Now, where, oh where, are you? A prickling hum runs through your very being. Your patron does not trust this clown. Not one bit. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Oh no. Points left. Uh, let's use the inspiration because that was. Uh, not not really a better. You stare, but glean no ill intent from the clown. Perhaps the makeup just threw you off. Maybe. Come now. Don't be a cowardly conny! Perhaps you need a little encouragement! Now! Up, up! Double sharp! Or oh, poor buddy here might think you don't like him! A round of applause for the stalwart heart! This, this can't be good. Tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? No, 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 no. 
I don't care about your special friends. I'm talking about you. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. Oh, you no. something behind you. Instinct takes over. Oh, no. Punchline. Yeah, punchline. A dinosaur. Oh, no. Team. the tweet first nice Focus. Okay. that one is going down soon crimson does have a hit points left in front of a bunch of kids <laughs> yeah, well that's that's a that's a point well it's everyone point. subscribes to what is mine is yours it seems Ah, uh, Quinton was uh, side. Uh. Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your it, interesting clothing. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion. Blazing like the sun. You're in love. Are you not? You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword. And trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. I guess it's the latter one, but let's see. What say you, Gabe? Thoroughly magical. Let's have at it. <laughs> Thoroughly magical. <laughs> Okay. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. I see you. I 
see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? Gael, the learned wizard. The charming gentleman. The walking apocalypse. Listen. Think. If the wizard were given the choice, what food would he be? You think so little of me? <laughs> At least you didn't compare me to a spotted dick. <laughs> okay. All affections face their trials. Your bond quivers, but it does not yet break. The heart is fraught, so let us turn to the joyous. When is Gale happiest? What one of those uh, tests you shouldn't never take? Bravo! That is indeed where my mind wanders to, when times are hard. I've remembered that one. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue, but now we must dig deeper, into the most painful reaches of the spirit. We often gaze through a veil of roses, but love accepts both the petal and the thorn. Gale, what is his greatest flaw? Hearing it said out loud. Yes, I fear it is true. Fate seems determined to make a sacrifice of me. But... Perhaps fate can yet be defied. Yeah, yeah, perhaps. It seems you've been paying attention to me. Though there is always room for improvement. Your bond is false. And I know why. Because your heart belongs to another. Close your eyes, and she will show herself to you. <laughs> so, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> Begging, sniffing for our stones. Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Uh -huh. Okay, that was interesting. So Orin is a shapeshifter. How is she watching? A triad of the. He does nothing. Coronation bolster. To be elevated to Archduke. Rimshrop audience hall. This does not work. May worms rock a visit. Frame of passion or deeper conspiracy. Steel Watcher. So that's a very big robot. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. 
Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Hmm, just like glitching. Yes, we can kill people. I'm afraid Article 30.1.7 stipulates that religious or spiritual assertions cannot count towards one's proof of self-sufficiency. I will repeat, for the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's Decree on Extraordinary Wartime Measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Interesting Your glitching. name? Daisy, do you drop well met, citizen Fluffington? <laughs> Your parasite stares. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. Uh -huh. State your business. Lots of bonuses. Eyes open, body still. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has seen uh -huh. the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly, or die. Uh. A long way to go still. Outraged. Still on This front page material. Infernal iron. Okay, so it's an infernal en engine they have. First. In the end of day. Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains! The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlaketh's rule? We, we don't know. Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. 
serve me, and I will ascend to you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barter Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. A final chance. Let's see Kneel what happens. Before me. Make your promise. Lozelle's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacketh. Stand your ground, don't fall to vlog, it's life. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me! I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word! Your word is nothing! You are nothing! The Kithraki will win you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. They didn't like us. My engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. I want us both to be ready if... Well... If we can't fix me. Hear, hear. And hey, kicking his ass might burn off a bit of this extra heat. Yeah. Let's go home. It's about damn time. Somebody wants to speak with me. Who is it? Ah, uh, there's a statue. Yep, that's, that's, yeah, that's a new statue. I don't know what, what I was expecting. Uh, okay, so... Uh... Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Yep, Lazelle that's, did that's well our, break our free of Vlacketh's manipulations, though I doubt Vlacketh will let such insubordination go unpunished. Very well. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? What harm? She's little, won't take up much space, or make much of a dent in our provisions. One of our party members is on the fire as well. Okay, that, that was Jenna. Okay, who, who wants to talk with me?
so, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with her glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. My time is yours. What do you need? Okay. Ah, little. Well, of course. I, d I didn't see her. That's why I didn't talk with her. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Blackith has upended Lazel's whole existence. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Yeah, can can actually. Lazel's bitterness hurt. is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Chmar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. I think that's marginally when better. I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the Prince. Orpheus Tuff Kinarsin. It's interesting. So basically, this feels like a zero some game which it's a game that well only one person can win and uh, everyone else gets well empty hand leaves them empty handed so yeah not good o of course th this can be end in a creek creek 
Prodigy. <clears throat> Now they are sleeping on the hay balls. Okay. Dream visitor. With the wine, wine bottles. Oh. It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now, when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. So Beautiful it it need, needs to be enslaved. The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. Your company is disgusting. You seem trouble. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one. Else. Duke Stelmane, or Belen, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. Yeah, you he, thought you were my first he heard ally. about it. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Belen was different from my relationship with you. Uh, okay. In a way, but not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Belin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate the offer, but I don't think it will help. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach, and not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Uh, there's actually an interesting picture in one of the old old D and D books. I mean, I mean that's like ADD first first edition, where where there's a, actually a mind flayer who is grieving another dead mind flayer, and it's like uh, it it, it spaw uh, spawned a little discussion controversy back in the day. But yeah, it's yeah. They, had, they do have a feeling. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you. 
But we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you.